Okay guys, welcome back. So last we checked, we bought a bunch of new spells and I've been using Muffle to increase my illusion. A quick way to get Magicka back is just to wait an hour and then you get full magic back again. So that's been exciting. We're gonna go ahead and level up again and we're gonna put it into health. We're gonna put a bunch more into magic too eventually, but for now we're just gonna work on getting our illusion up. That way we can get invisibility. Which will be exciting. As I promised, we are going to go to the Shrine of Azura and get whatever her Daedric artifact is. Fantastic. Oh. Okay, so we're also going to slay this dragon. So I'm actually going to go up this route where the dragon's at. And we'll go ahead and pull out Fire Bolt. Fire Ball. This is our new... Our new spell that we got. How'd you end up here? Man, that spell's so awesome. My favorite one hasn't been unlocked yet because we couldn't buy it from her at the time, but honestly with the, like look at our magic, it doesn't drain when we use it either, it's awesome. But it's a really fast way, actually you can see it in the distance right over there to the left is where her shrine is. So we'll get there eventually. But yeah, like I was saying, I forgot what I was saying, honestly. Oh well. Oh, there's the dragon. Look at how much damage we do to him. Compared to Firebolt. It's like insane. It's overpowered. It's funny there's an alchemy table up here. So you can play that game, my guy. Where is he? Ooh. Got him. Makes really easy work of these dragons whenever you have the enchantments I do. Let's see what we get from this. Eyes form, nice. Janassa, nice of you to show up. Let's see if we can get that fox. Get it. I know, I'm a terrible person. Judge me. Oh, shoot. Surprised he survived. Okay, so we're going past the shrine right now. Let's see. What happens if we go back down here? I was looking on the map and I thought for sure that you could go up around that way, but it's looking like it's not gonna happen. Okay, so we're gonna kinda go a really random way to it. Um, well heck, I guess we can go through this cave. Ah, there it is. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. Okay, well, we'll go there in a sec. For now, I actually want to go to this cave here. Oh my gosh! Huh, <laughs> he had two books. That was a glitch. Not sure what this place is all about, but okay.
What's down here? Sightless pit, huh? This sounds pretty neat. Let's go, let's go do it. Okay, so having a follower is nice, but I will say whenever I have a spell like this one, it can be a little bit detrimental. It's a bummer these guys are dead. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, this is really interesting. The gravity is its looking all weird and crazy here. It's probably why they call it the sightless pit. Okay. You guys already know how much I hate spiders. And Falmer are the worst. Anything down here? No. Okay. Dang it, you guys destroyed the piece of the amazing song that was playing. This guy does quite a bit of damage to us, like we're almost dead. We can actually get rid of fast healing, wherever it is. And we can, well, we can close wounds and also heal other. Well, I'll do healing hands. Actually, nah, screw it. We don't need that. Woo! Okay. We got some really good uh, enchanted items right there to sell later. Well, let us search the body. No? Bummer. Okay, that scared me. Um, oh, it's a, it's a skeever. What you got? Yeah, he's stuck there, that's for sure. Temple of Zrib? Holy cow, I didn't realize we'd be getting into this much, uh, into this much of a dungeon. Honestly, I just expected to have a quick little cave. <laughs> oh, they fly around like paper. When you do that, is he still alive? It, it lets me search him, but he's still moving. I'm telling you guys, this is the magic of Bethesda right here. Oh geez, yeah, I saw him. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Oh shoot, sorry Janessa. <laughs> Thought she was one of them. Luckily she's pretty forgiving as far as I can tell. Okay. Holy cow, look at this place. It's beautiful. Oh man, that's so epic. With Fireball, it's so hard to tell like how they're dying because of all that fire on the screen. A chest, don't mind if I do. 15 gold, all for that, really? It's so lame. Wow, this place is really neat looking, I like it. Okay. 
It's Gucci. Holy crap. Look at our health. Also, I just... Where the heck am I? <laughs> His body just slid down. Yeah, I can't stand the Falmer to be straight, guys. Not even in the slightest. Nothing good about them. Kind of like the Lost Souls from Doom. See, the Shadow Master is someone I will search. Gosh dang it, I got his stupid... I don't want his Falmer crap. Where is it? There it is. Worthless. Man, that that closed wounds thing really does it. I love it. Okay. Nice, a diamond. I think that's the first diamond we've ever found. You know what we don't have yet though? We don't have the carry weight um, enchantment. We don't have that yet. Which, it would be nice to have, especially considering the low amount of stamina we possess. Dang, that was one heck of... I love that, man. Like... It's like little gems like this that you just, you can miss so easily if you're not paying attention. Leads to the abandoned cave, huh? Okay, sweet. Yeah, that was pretty awesome, I gotta say. Alright, now we'll continue on to the Shrine of Azura. We're also gonna do the Night Caller pretty soon, which is another Daedric quest. But yeah, for now we'll definitely just stick with Boethia. Or not Boethia, but uh, Azura. Uh, why is it healing so slow? Is it all because of that dumb wolf? Uh, I think it was. Yeah, here it is. Okay, sweet. All right, fantastic. Let's start this quest. Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity. Perhaps that is what you are meant to. Do not bite it. Azura's prop. You must go to a fortress. Inside. It is cryptic, I know. But Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know. Find the elven mage from... Okay, so we gotta go find a mage. Sounds good to me. So, there's actually two different outcomes in this one. You can either go back to Azura, give her a star, and she'll give you Azura star, or you can go to this guy that we're about to see, and he will give you something called the Black Star. And what that'll do is instead of... Well, hold on. My job is to serve the... Excellent. You've done us a great service. Heard they reforming is your the Dawn Guard. Vampire What's your business here in Winterhold? Hmm. Not that it matters anymore. Winterhold is... I've heard... Hansa was in line to be... Good. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. I believe he's in here, the Frozen Hearth. Oh, he's up at the... Wait a second. Where is this dude? <gasps> what the crap? He was just here. What happened to him? You know what? I bet because it's nighttime he's not here, so we're gonna just go ahead and wait till daytime.
This will be a nice little tutorial for those of you who don't know how to find him. I'm pretty sure that he's around during the day. So. He's in Frozen. I'm pretty sure he's in Frozen Hearth. I could be wrong, but we'll see. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Yeah, this guy. My days at the college. Who sent you? Was it the college? The yard? Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. What do you know about soul gems? They are Azura's star. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varen. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying. It drove him mad. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. As you're as, as a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. It started slowly at first. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student, and in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. All right, so that's exciting. Mind yourself with that fire. Don't burn. The mages are up in the... Then again, Nelikar might know. He's an old-timer from the college. The mages don't let us go in the college. See they said it's not safe. I told you what you wanted. The college. We're nothing to the Daedra. No. I left Winterhold for some... I still have research that keeps me busy. And being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to... Okay, sweet. Now we got to go find Azura's star. Now, if we bring it back to him instead of Azura, he'll turn it into the black star, which will then allow us to um, star. Look at this place. It's a wreck. I believe there's an alternative entrance into it, but I'm not sure. Mud crabs. Give me a sec. Yeah, I'm not sure if there is an alternative way in, but I'm just going to go in this way. Right over here. Okay, so right off the bat, we already see a skeleton hanging. Janessa. She knows one when she sees one. Let's see. Yeah, I was going to say, like, unless they're worth 150, I'm not picking up their clothes anymore at this point. Holy cow, he went flying. That was insane. Dang it. Yeah, these robes are worth nothing. I hear a skeleton. Oh, here he is. Let's go into here. That looks like the right way, so I'm going to go the other way real quick. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, get some easy sell potions. Now we can go in here. <laughs> that necromage got wrecked. Oh my gosh, he also has some really good stuff on. Nice. Anytime you find a free black soul gem, count it as a blessing. 
Ooh, there's a secret down here. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna make sure I get some air and now I'll go. Come on, there's gotta be something else. Is that it? Really? Dang, what a bummer. Okay. I guess we'll just keep going then. Yeah, I gotta say, sometimes it's almost too easy because uh, of our uh, our build that we have now. Like, no cost. Go ahead and open this door. This princess, sweet, first try. Look, guys, I'm getting better, I swear. Lots of potions of magic everywhere. Mind if I do. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that blizzard is sketchy. You really gotta watch out for it. I'm telling you guys, if I didn't have this fire ball thing, this would not be nearly as easy as it is. I promise. That was insane. Let's see what she had. She had nothing. Goodness. Yeah, normally this place can be insane hard. Just so you know, those, those little blizzards that she fires at you, they do quite the amount of damage. Sweet, we got grand healing for free? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, go ahead. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, you Gucci man. Thank you. <laughs> we'll go ahead and open this apprentice door. I haven't found a Zerus star yet. I'm wondering if I'm just not looking in the right places. Sweet. Always nice to have potions to sell for later. Oh, now we're up here. Nice. This is uh, the area what we entered in at first. Is there something on these shelves? Nothing? Dang. Okay. Ooh, time to go into the deep. Now things are getting serious. Ooh! <laughs> they didn't even have a chance to get up and do anything about it. All these soul gem fragments, pointless. Is that a black soul gem? Or are they all fragments? They are. Oh dang. Okay. Nice, nice. Oh, don't want to forget that. I was going to say, guys, if you're into soul gems, which I definitely am, this is the way to go. Just make sure you collect them all. I'm glad we're getting all these potions to sell for later. I like we both just stared at each other for a little bit. I, I tried oh master necromancer? Janassa, step back. Dang, he healed up hella, bro. No, we don't want that. Do we still have it? We sure do. Nice Janessa, so proud of you. We're not going to open any of these gates. I don't think there's anything important behind them, but if you want to get your lock picking up, that's a quick and easy way to do it. Another master? Holy cow. Oh my gosh, look at my health. No! I can't believe it. Okay, you know what? I was too cocky with my little fireballs. I can't believe that we died. Mm, that's okay. We did get a checkpoint when we entered this area, so... 
<laughs> there we go. I keep my distance. Oh gosh. He's shooting those like no one's business. Okay, one sec. Close wounds. There you are. Where's he at? Shanessa taking one? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's dead. Okay, sweet. Let's see. Is there a star somewhere in here? I know that. Was there something down here? No. <laughs> You can't tell me this is all for nothing. One sec. I can't see a thing. Here we go. There's a skeleton. Is that literally it? No way. Dang, all this for nothing. I guess it's really cool that you can go back there. Is it really that easy? Can we just grab it? Okay, I'm not going to read it, but I'll let you guys read it. This is basically the story about how the Black Star came to be, and how the Daedra didn't let it happen. But there is a Zero Star out. Well, yeah. So as you guys can see, there are two different places to bring to. I'm going to bring it to Azura. Oh, shoot. Freaking hit the camera thing by accident. Okay, it still looks good. Alright, now that we're done with this, we can actually go back to Azura. I think the Black Star counts as a Daedric item if you're going for the Daedric Artifacts achievement. If you do play on Xbox or PS4. But... Uh, just to be safe, I always go with Azura Star when I'm trying to get the achievement. Azura, hand it over to me. I will commune with Azura. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn. Your chosen champion has returned your star. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the door. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malan Vera. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. That's fair. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Sounds Tell good to me. me when you are ready, mortal. We are ready to go, so let's do it. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Oh, that's so nice of her. She's gonna watch over us, guys. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting hungry. <laughs> Why? There's something different about you. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Now I can, oh, see my health, yeah. As you can see, this guy is rather tough. Even with my, uh, my unlimited, oh shoot. Where is it? 
There it is. Even with my magic uh, boost thing that I do have, it's still plenty difficult. Gosh, dang it. I was gonna say, these guys are tough. I'm gonna use chain lightning on them. I think that's the most effective method. Man, they killed me. Well, the first time didn't count. This time definitely didn't. Okay, chain lightning. Let's do it. Yeah, this place is absolutely beautiful. Got him. Definitely you want to take the Daedra Heart every time because they're just worth so much and they're rare. And you can also make armor and weaponry with them later on. There we go. Alright, fantastic. Now it's down to this guy. Got him. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. That was one heck of an adventure right there. One of the most beautiful places in the game for sure. I'd, I'd even say it like, goes up against Black Reach, considering how Malin's short it is. Has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Fantastic. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. Fantastic. Now let's check it out. So is there a star? You can reuse it as many times as you'd like, and that's something that's really nice for people like While me. You were, I have never... If you need me, I'd be honored. Twilight, watch over you, Guardian. No. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not... Looks like you got someone already. I do. We're one of the same kind. Someone with the same exact voice, too. But, uh, we're gonna keep Janessa. Maybe we'll come back and use her later on, but for now... Okay guys, just to show you where we're at, we're over by the Great Lift at Mazinka Left, and we're going to locate Grim Sever instead. Um, just cause, like, I don't have Dawnstar Discovered yet, but we will make our way there eventually, but for now we're gonna go get Grim Sever. So, let's do it. First I'm gonna clear skies. Oh, hello. Okay, fantastic. Now let's go to Grim Sever. This is a quest given to us by Mio the Lioness, I believe is her name, and she is in. She's in Ripton. That's right, man. We gonna jump on these rooftops. I'm gonna become a wreath girl for a second. There we go. Take a little shortcut down. Really no point in fighting all these guys. I don't think they have anything important. That I know of. Yeah, if you can come from that top area, it really saves you a lot of time. And Janassa followed, so it's perfect. We'll go ahead and pull out. Unrelenting force for the future now. I was not expecting bandits to be in here, but okay. Wow, I'm actually a little surprised they were able to destroy all of these guardians and such. These mechanical beasts are not easy. Holy cow. Dude, how's it going? 
Yeah, the reason I'm not searching a lot of bodies is just because it's kind of pointless at this point. Like, I will search these guardians because sometimes they do have the soul gems, but in terms of, like, the people, all they have is, like, maybe 10 gold in them. So I'm just trying to keep these episodes a little shorter than I have in the past. Also trying to just get the best of the best for y'all. Gosh dang it, where is it? There it is, okay, sweet. We have about broke two picks over that. Is there anything in here? Ah, Malaril's journal. So this person is from Mark Arth, and they basically came here to get some artifacts to sell in Mar or to sell. But yeah, they got ran out of Mark Arth because they were. Doing some bad stuff. But I kept the pages up and long enough for you guys. If you want to pause the video, you can just read it on your own time. Okay, sweet. Now we'll just go down over into this area. Holy crap, this is live. Oh, wow. Sketchy stuff. Nothing. Flawless Garnet. Nice, nice. Ah, uh, spider. Yeah, we didn't hit him, huh? Oh! I can hear his crawling, it's freaky. Okay, I'm gonna open this real quick. Hopefully there's a chest behind this. I didn't look closely enough. It's also too dark for me to even see behind it anyways. Is it more up? More down? Oh shoot, let's try that. There we go, all right, sick. It definitely looked like it was going more down for a sec, didn't it? Yeah, we don't need that solid Dwemer metal crap. Even even with their, their health, like these guys still, still freak me out. There we go. Psych, man, he ain't gonna get us up here. I think Janassa's back there fighting one of those bandits, wasting all her time over there. Ooh, a chess. Oh, nice, Amulet of Debella. That's what I'm talking about. This guy can sneak up on you, so make sure you have your volume on, otherwise he'll, he'll give you a nice scare. I didn't see him at all, I just heard it. Now with this, you just kind of have to flip these switches until you get over here. It's really not that hard. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, what? One sec. Okay, I thought it was going to be easier than that, but I guess not. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, flip this once. There we go. Okay, I see you now. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm master. <laughs> okay, um... Ooh, hold up, it's like right here. Shoot. We're getting close though. Oh my gosh, no. I'm too antsy. It's more up. Like. Here? No. Down? Let's tread, tread down more. Oh my gosh, even if I barely tap it, it like just like. Up a little bit. That's where you were. Go down. Oh my gosh. That was too far. Okay. One sec, guys. I swear. 
Holy shit. Alright. Um, this is like 10 locks now. Dang it. It's up slightly. Oh my gosh, we did it. This is all we get. Okie dokie. That was neat. Thank you for the help, my guy. Alrighty. Honestly, the lockpick was harder than that little flip switch puzzle they had there. Look how big this place is. Goodness. One of my favorite music themes playing right now. I'm going to pull candlelight out for this part because we're going to go dive in the water after after we grab whatever is over here. Oh jeez. Okay, sweet. I know there's something under here. Is it over here? Sweet. Now we don't have water breathing yet, um, which is a little weird. I, I guess I haven't really trained my alteration and I haven't even gone to Tolteer to buy anything, but like Tolteer is the, the old wizard guy at the college you can get training and alteration from and you can buy stuff from him. So I haven't been to him in a while. I probably ought to stop by and see if he has water breathing. Because it makes makes this whole place like super convenient or it makes underwater super convenient I swear there was a, oh yeah here it is another passage here we go right, you gotta be quick because we are running low on oxygen so come on oh my gosh that was that was such a good chest I'm gonna go ahead and swim that out because I know our health's gonna start draining soon Oop, that, there it is. One more time. I'm gonna check it one more time. Okay, that's everything. Yep. See ya. And the breathing sound effects in this game are very well done. You like almost feel out of breath with them when they're drowning. Oh! Ooh, get wrecked, my guy. Tell your friends. Seriously, I hate these guys. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Oh my gosh, my heart. Hey, that guy came out of nowhere. I swear, like, if I get a heart attack from these fools. Yeah, look, they got nothing ever. <laughs> Janessa took that offensively. Okay. Down here. What do we have? A church. I don't think so, bud. Ooh. He got me. They thought. Hold up. I'm going to increase the destruction for a second. I just realized we can get some more damage on the fire now that we're level 60. We can also get some on this eventually, but not yet. Not yet. In due time. So if you guys thought we were doing damage, then we're going to do 25% more damage now, which is awesome. Okay, sweet. Down we go. Man, I love, I love this place. It is 
just beautiful. I'm gonna kill all these hoes first. Oh, it's you. Okay, sweet. Alright, we're back. Um, well, can't open this yet. I'm trying to finish this in time for the episode before it's over. I only have about eight minutes of recording time left on this one. Oh, okay, we do go this way. Don't get too far ahead. Janessa, why don't you just keep up with us? Hey you! So I wanted to press this button here. Thank you. There's an expert gate. Yep, that's right. Shoot. All right. Well, at least it's not master. Master is insane. Shoot. It's more up. Ah, more down. There we go. Just gotta feel it out. At least be something worth my time. That's more like it. Other oh, chest is just disappointing to a T. Dang it, it's a little more up. Guaranteed. No, it's too too far down. There we go. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. I love finding soul gems in those bodies. It's the best. You mad, bro? Man, I got 46 gold on him. That's pretty impressive. Oh, we're nearing the end, my friends. Looks like a battle happened here previous. Our arrival. Between the Falmer and the Dwarven homies, whatever you call them. Okay. Oh, look at him. Making easy work of this dude. Oh shoot. I'm gonna go up here. Can't touch me, man. Got him. Sweet. Guys, that, that was it. Right there. And we have now cleared this entire dungeon um to get that we have to I think you go up here across here pretty sure there's a switch somewhere oh hey Janessa um is it over here no where is it and we can actually put this in to open these stairs this actually goes down to black reach we're not going to go down there we're just going to grab Grim Seaver and return to Meol, the lioness. Okay, I know there's a way to get in here. Okay, I have four minutes to find the way in. I'm, oh, it's just this? Oh my gosh. It's just that simple, everyone. This game doesn't even make you think that hard. I, I try to overanalyze everything. We're just going to go ahead and exit out of here now. Oh, before we do leave, I'll show you guys what Grim Seaver does. So this weapon... Take, target takes 15 points of frost damage to health and stamina. So it's a really good sword. It's a glass sword, which is awesome. We're actually probably going to start using that instead of Dawnbreaker, to be honest. We'll see, though. Depends on how many hits the enemies take. Woo! That 
is a beautiful view. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And um, in the next episode, we will continue our quest for the, or our, we will continue the hunt for the Daedra. So I'll see you guys in the next one.